Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 44, Test a Date Picker. In this lesson, you'll learn how to test a jQuery date picker in a feature spec, and then how to install and configure the date picker. If you want to code along, you just need to clone the Ruby Thursday example app with the branch from the Ruby Snack just before this one, which was Ruby Snack number 42. You get clone that branch, CD into it, bundle, and then Rails DB create, DB migrate. We're continuing to work with our crew member evaluations, so we're going to add to our feature spec for create crew member evaluation. Now we're going to add that we're going to execute some script. This is the easiest way to tell a date picker to pick a date in a feature spec. So we'll say execute and we'll find an ID that we're going to call date picker and call date picker. And then we're going to set the date and it's going to be a value of minus a day. And a day is 1000 times 3600 times 24. If you wanted to go into the future, you would just say plus. If you want to make it several days, I changed that last number from 24 to 48 to 72, whatever you need. This code is specifically for jQuery's date picker. If you have a different date picker, I encourage you to go over to Stack Overflow and find the code that you can use for execute script for that date picker. Then we're going to add to our expectations that the evaluation has a start date of yesterday's date. Opening up our text editor, I have the spec open here, and I'm going to go ahead and add that execute script before we fill in the evaluation assessment. Let's have them set the date first and save that. And then I'll go ahead and put the expectation down here under rating and add it there. All right, and save. Now let's run our spec to see that it is failing in some way. We've done that and it is. It cannot execute that script. Well, that's because we haven't done anything to make it possible for it to execute. First, we need to add the ID to the form so that our JavaScript will find that field. We'll add that to the text field for star date and simply call the ID date picker. Back in the text editor, I'm opening up app, then forms, then evaluations, then form. And it's already there from our scaffold, but let's just add in that ID and save. Now for the date picker. First, we need to add the gem jQuery UI Rails to our gem file and then bundle. jQuery UI Rails is a pretty massive gem. It has everything you would ever want from jQuery UI, but we're only going to include date picker. If you're not going to use every piece of it, I do recommend just including what you need. So we're just going to require in our JavaScripts and our style sheets just the jQuery UI date picker. Then I'm going to use a JS file we're going to call evaluations.js. The scaffold creates a coffee script file, but I tend to just do things in JavaScript, so I'm going to go ahead and change the name of that file. And then here is our jQuery for date picker. It has the ID for date picker, and then it calls date picker. And we're going to include a date format that is the day, then the full name of the month, and then the four year date. You can find out more about these date formats on jQuery's information about date picker and I'll link to that later. We're going to go ahead and save it in this format because Rails has an easier time of saving that as a date object if you go ahead and put it in the correct date format. In future episodes I will show you how you can show it in a format and then save it in a way that Rails will like. For now let's make it easy and just give it the date format that it wants. Back in our files let's find our gem file and include that new gem, which is jQuery UI Rails. And now I'm quickly going to bundle that, so we add the gem. Now we're going to go into our application JS, so into Assets, Application JS, and I'm going to include it just above Require Tree. That's where I put new things. And now let's go into Style Sheets and do the same for jQuery date picker there. And now that's saved. Now I've already changed the name of that file to JS and I've already included here the code for a date picker. Let's run our spec again to see where we are. 
as now we have added all of that JS. And it passes. As promised, here is a link to check out more date formats and more information about jQuery UI's date picker. And that's it for this Ruby snack. Thank you so much for watching. If you are not already on my mailing list, head on over to rubythursday.com to do so. If you are not already subscribed on YouTube, hit that big red button and you'll be subscribed. You'll get the videos just a little bit before everyone else. If you have a comment, it's best to leave it on YouTube. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.